Hi, my name is Richard Roth, and I'm uh, one of the designers of the uh, conversion for the Tough Belt tractor. Um, I wanted to give you a little tour of, of what we've done and how, how we put it together. Um, our gauges are up here. Um, this is our uh, fuel gauge. How much charge is left in the battery, and this is how much we're drawing. Uh, on the batteries when we're, we're operating. Uh, the motors down here, the electronics, major portion of, of them are here under the, the hood here. Uh, I've made a, an effort to make, to see as, if I could use as little wiring as possible. So um, it's fairly direct. Uh, you'll be able to, to, to trace what wire goes where. Um, here is uh, a disconnect, which goes to the gauges in the linear actuator in front. Um, under the seat here is uh, the charger, so you can just plug in here. This is the standard charger. The, there's a readout here that will show you the, the percentage of, of charge you're getting. Um, connects through this uh, Anderson connector here. So you can uh, disconnect if you want to. Uh, the uh, throttle is on the right here. Um, it's a cable craft. Um, I like these uh, commercial uh, controllers and cable that we've put together. Uh, this is your um, linear actuator switch to raise and lower the implements. Now currently this is set up to run, uh, it's the 12 volt system so we're using just one of the batteries. I don't know that that's the best um, way to do it. I don't know that it's uh, terrible either but uh, on the other tractor we've got a reducer and you may want to install that I'll, I'll show you what the reducers look like it's uh, from 48 to to 12 volt reducer and then you, from that you can run any kind of 12 volt system that you want and it draws equally from all four batteries so the the batteries on the tough belt are in the back where the engine used to be. Um, we have a, a lid here for it. Keep us it all uh, covered. Just lifts off. And under the cover we have our our Batteries wired, wired in series, and it comes off here. Again, it's the closest terminals to your uh, controller, which goes up there, and shortest turn from your charger up to here. Uh, these black tubes are the um, automatic watering uh, system, and that will help keep um, any of the uh, battery acids and stuff contained within the batteries, not spilling out. Uh, I put the, uh, for refilling, the tubes are, are, at least for now, stored between the, the batteries here. The batteries are on a tray, so if you decided you wanted to switch out, be able to switch out batteries, you could have another tray built, pull the pins, slide this out, have it charging while you're using your other tray. I don't know whether it's going to be that necessary. Uh, so far in our field experience, you're not using the tractor more than two to four hours in a day and it easily charges overnight. And, um, so, or a long, long lunch or something. So, um, 
Now there is one, oh, uh, the battery uh, cover here is lined with a rubber mat to help protect uh, from any kind of short, keep the metal away. Um, the throttle here to me is in a little bit of an awkward place. Um, you're sitting on the seat and it's a, a little bit far back and it may be better to have it on the left at some point uh, but that would be an option uh, and probably want to move the, the the linear actuator switch also but um, it works fine and I don't know that it would be better or not but it uh, it does uh, feel a little awkward to me now one of the things I've noticed when backing is that when I you, you, you throttle up to, to back there's a tendency to want to push when you decide you want to stop you want to push forward and stop and and really what you want to do is go back if you push forward you're going to accelerate so um, when you're going forward it makes logical sense but when you're going backwards there's this tendency I at least I have so be careful Try, you know make sure that you you're thinking when you're backing up that to stop you've got to pull the lever back and let's see the tough belt, uh, the formal Cubs, they have a lock on the brakes. So if you're on a hill and, and you want to lock the brakes, you put, put your, your tab down, they tie the brakes together, you press down and it clicks into place and will hold it in place. The tough belt does not have that. And so if you're going to be parking on a hill or something, you're going to need to block the tires. Um, Um, this, like I said, does not have a uh, voltage reducer, so it's all a 48 volt system, except for the actuator, uh, linear actuator, which is coming off, um, let's see, it's coming off this, this battery here, and so you're pulling a uh, we're pulling a little bit extra energy out of this one battery and i don't know whether it's really something that's going to cause any kind of problems down the road or not but uh, if you get a uh, reducer then all the 12 volt system can go on on that one system and i believe that's it uh the um We've got a, a warning light here. Um, it's not installed currently. It will need a, a reducer. Um, there's no real way to, to set up a, a warning light that will work on a, from a 48 volt system directly, um, at least with the, this light. So the, they have uh, cheap uh, reducers which we've used on our very first prototype. It's a Chinese made uh, reducer. Uh, but uh, the reviews on them are pretty, pretty uh, negative. A lot of them don't work out of the box and then some of them burn out within a year. But we got a cheap one and it does work for our prototype cub, but we switched to the better marine one here. This is this is commonly used on boats, and so it's all waterproof. It's that's a high quality uh, reducer. And that's it. It's uh, this is a, a wonderful little tractor. 
Uh, there's on this one it, there's no uh, three point in the back, but we have this wonderful heavy duty toolbar in the front, which is very visible, even more so than uh, the the Cubs. Uh, it's a really nice tractor. Um, we've also made spacers so that um, we like uh, we like our uh, tires set at 60 inches, so we got a five foot uh, bed, five foot center to center beds, and the spacers do that, extend it beyond what uh, the original tough belt model had. And I believe that's it. If you have any questions, we're always happy to answer answer questions.